Alright gang, welcome back to Crazy Life Homestead. We had a little rain today. We have some wind, not a lot, about 10 miles an hour. But I do want to warn you that I didn't bring the muff. I do have the tripod, but I didn't bring the muff with the speaker, with the microphone. And as you saw from Bella, I have to fill up trough. She's trying to get some water. Silly dog. There she goes. Good girl, Bella. Now, as from yesterday, all of that melted. That's how cold it is. So I'm probably going to dump these, give them a good scrub, and then fill them back up. So that's one of our jobs today. Horses are a little, a little wet, but they're okay. Like I said, they've got plenty. Looks like somebody's been having a good time over here. Let's go put all this stuff back up. That's the plug for the gooseneck, for the lights and stuff. Like I said, it's a little windy. And here we go. We're going to start. They're hungry. So they're going to start their little games. Bella thinks she's in control. Uh, Leilani is the matriarch of this. She's younger than Halani, but Halani is so submissive that uh, she doesn't put up with much. You see the ears back? Ears back. <laughs> this is the game. Let me turn you around. This is the game that is played. If I let this run, you'll see what's going on. Duke doesn't want anything to do with it. If you ever see a horse with its ears back, they're either listening, as you can see she's listening, or it's a threat. If they're flat up against their head like this, watch this. See how it's flat, almost flat up against her head? She's telling her by signal, be careful because I'm on the run. And of course you've got Bella trying to get into the mix of everything. So, but This is the game. She's, she's trying to show her dominance. So let me get them fed up and then we'll stop all this. Yep, they're all fed. I'm going to put cubes together. I put some hay out over here. And then I put some hay out over here by the straw bales. See the straw bales? This is where they used to be. With all the mud. So I put some more straw bales, I mean hay out over here. There's four over here and there's four on the other side. Today is Thursday. Hi. Today's Thursday. Tomorrow is feed day. Like I said, we had a little rain. It's about 53 degrees with a, you know, 5 10 mile an hour wind. They're fine. Like I said, if they can make it through that cold, they're definitely going to be able to make it through this stuff. So, I'm going to pour this and I'm going to pour some oats. Uh, and we'll pour that with the cuz I'm just trying to get rid of the oats. Pour that with the um, the cubes. Again, this is a good set of cubes because they're they're all big. Normally they're they're like this big compared to the two of them, but most of them are like this this time. So let's fill up. And again, as you can see, I forgot the gloves. They're behind me in the car. I guess I can pick this up. I'll try not to make too much noise, otherwise I'll take it out of the video. I'll find a new song for you guys to listen to. By chance, if you're ever listening to the music, let me know how you like it, otherwise I'll change it. Let me go get some oats. 
Okay, I'm going to go dump these. So why don't you come on with me? We'll usually do it on this side because that's where they're, they're used to seeing it. Oops, that's all right. Anybody's interested. That's what oats looks like. Now, I know for a fact that this young lady did not finish all of her feed. And here she is. I told you, they like the candy first. That's why I try to get them to eat their feed first before she decides that she's going to go to something else. The reason why I know she didn't finish it because these two are still eating. That's how I know. So let's go check her bowl. I know for a fact that she didn't finish it. Yeah, she's not even close. And somebody else is gonna get it. That's okay, that's her choice. She does have oats out there, as you saw me pour that little white bucket. So, she'll have plenty. She makes that decision, it's like one of your kids not eating their broccoli or something. All right, let's go take care of water. I'm gonna close this uh, trailer up. That's one account. I need two hands to do this, so. Okay, number two, closed. I got hay all over me. Now, I've got to take the hose line and stretch it all the way over to where that, sorry, that would go that way, Maureen. Give me stage left. There's a blue thing over there. That's where the water spigot is over by this. Wrong way. The water spigot is over here. So that's where I have to drag this this hose that's underneath the white buckets. And it's about 50 yards, about 50 yards. So I'm gonna spill these over and uh, clean them out and then pull the line. I got my brush, I got my wild hair. Let's go clean. If you're gonna be a girly girl, you know, 
you have to give your partner some kind of help. You can't do this all by yourself. I'm not really girly girl. I'm, I like getting dressed up and I like doing all that stuff. But if you're going to be a cowgirl, you're going to be a cowgirl. Okay, time to do my checklist. Doors closed. Door is closed. Yes, I have a checklist just to keep me right where I need to be. Make sure everything gets done. Horses are content. They're going back and forth from bulls and everything else, but they're okay. The troughs are full. The hose is wound back up. I'm losing daylight. It doesn't look like it, but I am. So we're going to bid you a goodbye. Thank you for following. If you get the opportunity to hit that share button, that would be great. Stay safe, stay warm, stay out of trouble. And we'll see you on the next video.